Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss another aspect of intellectual property rights that is trademark. So under trademark we can say it is a species of intellectual property right, intellectual property right is genus in character. So this is another this species of IPR. So we can define trademark, it is a mark which is capable of represented graphically and which is capable of distinguish the goods and services of one person, one entrepreneur, one company or one particular trader from another entrepreneur, from another individual, from another company or from another person. So it actually distinguishes the goods and services of one individual from another individual. Whether you are a trader, whether you are a businessman, whether you are industrialist or you have own a company your goods or your services can be distinguished by different these trademarks. So no one can deceive if you have a goodwill of your company your brand value will be uh, determined by particular trademark. So it may include the shape of goods, their packaging or combination of color also. So trademark is not only we can say these words may be included, it may be number or it may be combination of color also. So this is a trademark. So under Indian uh, laws, so trademark act is passed in 1999 from which we at present day we govern trademark of every commerce and industry. So this trademark includes a mark, specific definition is there. So what it says about this mark, a mark here is a device, it may be brand, it may be heading, it may be label or it can be a ticket, it may be a name, it may be a signature, it may be some word is there, McDonald is there, Honda is there, Honda city is there or we can say Honda is there. It may be one letter, we can say one word may be there, uh, Maruti Suzuki is a word, we can say there may be a number, it may be Paanj Bhai Sabun or it may be 555, there may be some number or number may be there. It may be shape of particular goods that can be distinguished goods and services that can be covered under the trademark. So it may be packaging also. Now non-conventional trademarks are also there, we will discuss in detail in next lecture. But here packaging is also included under the this uh, mark. So there may be combination of color also. We can take example of uh, this John Deere tractor where trademark is assigned for combination of color also. We can take example of Mother Teresa Sari where uh, these uh, blue lines are also covered under the trademark. So combination of color we can say packaging or shapes of uh, all these things are covered under that. So we can take number of other examples also there may be heading or we can say name may be there some uh, Amitabh Bachchan can uh, also uh, I think he has also uh, this registered his name Amitabh Bachchan or AB. We can say AB is also registered for Amitabh Bachchan. So no one can use this uh, AB as a title of or name of his or her company. So you can also take example of this uh, Parker pen. In Parker pen uh, if you have a cap you can see this arrow cannot be uh, this insert by any other pen company on their pen caps. So that is specific trademark of particular company. So the different trademarks or marks are we can use by different companies for protection of their goods. So there should not be counterfeit goods in the market. So there are some types of trademark. First of all we can go through the service mark. So service mark is also a mark which we can also define it which services of any description which is made available to the potential users. For example, we will take example now after going through this definition include provision of services in connection with business or any industrial or commercial matter. So when a particular service is made available to a general public or large segment of the society service mark can be granted to that particular services. So if we can take example banking. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन टेक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एच डी एफ सी बैंक आई सी सी आई एस बी आई सो दीज आर द सर्विस मार्क ऑफ बैंक और यू कैन ऑल्सो टेक सर्विस मार्क्स इन कॉम्युनिकेशन आई वॉन्ट टू गिव वन एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव एन एप्पल मोबाइल सो इन मोबाइल यू हैव देर इज वन लोगो ऑफ एप्पल दैट विल कवर्ड अंडर दिस मार्क इन लास्ट थिंग हेयर दीज इन पर्टिकुलर मार्क एंड द कॉम्युनिकेशन द सिम यू हैव इंसर्टेड इन साइड दैट फॉर कॉम्युनिकेशन दैट विल कवर्ड अंडर द सर्विसेज इट मे इंक्लूड द एयरटेल इट मे इंक्लूड द वोडाफोन इट मे इंक्लूड द आइडिया और इट मे इंक्लूड द दिस जियो और बी एस एन एल एम टी एन एल सो कॉम्युनिकेशन इज ऑल्सो कवर्ड अंडर द सर्विसेज सो एजुकेशन सर्विस इज ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड बाई नंबर ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटीज वी कैन दिस इंक्लूड आई आई टीज ऑल्सो वी कैन इंक्लूड हेयर एम आई टी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑल्सो वी कैन इंक्लूड हेयर बी पी एस एम वी खानपुर कला ऑल्सो वी कैन इंक्लूड हेयर दिज चंडीगढ़ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑल्सो सो एजुकेशन इज ऑल्सो कवर्ड कोचिंग सेंटर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल फिट जी और वी कैन से विद्या मंदिर क्लासेज और ऑल दीज पीपल हु आर प्रोवाइडिंग एजुकेशन सर्विसेज टू स्टूडेंट्स और जर्नल मार्सिज वी कैन ऑल्सो इंक्लूड द ऑनलाइन सर्विसेज ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल फिजिक्स वाला इज देयर अन अकेडमी इज देयर ऑल दीज आर सर्विस मार्क सो फाइनेंसिंग इज ऑल्सो देयर मूट हूट ग्रुप इज देयर या अदर सम बैंकिंग कंपनीज आर देयर हु गिविंग फाइनेंस टू द जर्नल पब्लिक सो फाइनेंशियल कंपनीज आर ऑल्सो कवर्ड अंडर दिस सर्विस मार्क सो इंश्योरेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल नेशनल इंश्योरेंस इज देयर या प्राइवेट कंपनीज सो मेनी प्राइवेट कंपनीज आर देयर हु आर गोइंग फॉर द दिस इंश्योरेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल रिलायंस इंश्योरेंस इज देयर सो चिट फंड रियल इस्टेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओमेक्स और सन सिटी और ऑल अदर दिस रहेजा ग्रुप्स ऑल दीज आर विच प्रोवाइडिंग यू हाउसिंग सर्विसेज दे आर ऑल्सो कवर्ड इंटर दैट ट्रांसपोर्ट सर्विसेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इंडियन रेलवे प्रोवाइडिंग ट्रांसपोर्ट सर्विसेज हरियाणा रोडवेज यूपी रोडवेज दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग ट्रांसपोर्ट सर्विसेज दे आर ऑल्सो कवर्ड अंडर दैट सो स्टोरेज सर्विसेज फैसिलिटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल दीज दिस इंडियन गवर्नमेंट एफ सी आई इज प्रोवाइडिंग स्टोरेज सर्विसेज सो दे आर ऑल्सो कवर्ड अंडर दिस सर्विस मार्क मेटीरियल ट्रीटमेंट प्रोसेसिंग सप्लाई ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल अदर एनर्जी सो दिस UP state electric support is providing energy for example reliance petro they are providing the energy or all these thing boarding lodging entertainment for example pvr is providing entertainment or we can say uh, hotstar is providing the entertainment services uh, online or you can say netflix is there they are providing this entertainment services to you they are also covered under these things amusement appu ghar is there ya construction company is there lnt is is there so all these companies which providing services to you so why these services are included under indian trademark act 1999 after the passing of this uh, establishment of world trade organization there is number of agreements trips is one of them and because of that trips agreement now before 1995 only goods were there but after lpg liberalization privatization and globalization now we have opened the door to the mncs or world companies mncs so mncs are now uh, because of privatization enter into all these services whether we can say only some uh, 20 years back only mtnl or bsnl was there so there was monopoly there of these companies or indian oil was there Uh, so, but now private companies are also existing uh, after this wto or this liberalization so now they have competition in the market and they have to prove some trademark is also required for that so it is because of this world trade organization or trips agreement we have change our trademark jo trade and mercantile mark act which was passed in 1958 trade and mercantile mark act passed in 1958 we have changed our trademark act or we have complete change our trademark act which was enacted in 1999 here in that trademark act we have inserted this service term so this is very important nowadays because most of things or you have also this taking service of education through swamprabha so this swamprabha is a service is provided by government of india for online education of all of you so another concept is here well known trademark so there are so many trademarks 
but there are few trademarks which has its own reputation which are on our tips so we can also define here after that i will give so many example of well known trademark so in relation to goods and services goods means which can be purchased services which can be given to you not goods but services as we discuss in early slide so we can say mark which has become so to the substantial segment of the public which uses such goods so it means major section of the society is using that particular trademark or particular goods and services they know that such type of goods and services are existing there so use of such mark in relation to other goods and services would likely be taken by or indicating a connection to the course of trade or rendering services between those goods or services and a person using the mark in relation to first mentioned goods and services we can take example of bata everyone know bata deals with the footwear so if some person is start to use bata as a for we can say curtains so general public will be deceived or the, the goods will be not distinguished so we have we can have misconception about those curtains ki this is made by bata but some pyare lal has started this uh, for example these curtains uh, with name bata so bata company can file a case has already filed a case against pyare lal and injunction was granted so well known trademark we can also take example of xerox very famous name is there xerox is also we can use for the photocopying but xerox is a company similarly we are saying activa activa we are synonyms with the scooty but activa this honda activa is a trademark but which is generally used by the uh, people so surf is also a, uh, we can say well known trademark we can say colgate is also a well known trademark so there are so many well known trademark for example and uh, this lg is there or for example tata is there birla is there so these are the well known trademark where we can see uh, ki how these well known trademark help us in uh, this uh, this distinguishing the goods and services in uh, our life so we can also know or th that ki we are using thousands of trademark every day in our, whether we are using mobile whether we we are using the transport or whether we are going to the university whether what pen we are using that is also related to the trademark whether it is of renold rotomac or parker or any other pen all these are trademarks so uh, we are using toothpaste or uh, this pen or footwear or everything we are using these belongs to the trademark so another important type of trademark is collective mark so collective mark is specifically assigned to the association of persons so trademark distinguishes the goods and services a member of association of person so but it should not be partnership within the meaning of indian partnership act 1932 how we are going to distinguish i am telling you for example association of chartered accountants so they have own its logo similarly bar council of india the advocates have their different sticker or logo for uh, protection of for their recognition similarly mci medical council of india is also its own we can say collective mark so all these are distinguish those individual their uh, these uh, particular goods and services provided by Uh, them whether they are doctor whether they are advocates whether they are chartered accountants or we can say engineers uh, they have also their own logo and their own society after that uh, we will discuss this certification trademark very important concept nowadays as we are using isi mark goods iso 9001 we are using egg mark uh, wool mark whole mark so all these things are covered under the certification trademark now although we are using but most of us don't know about the this what certification mark is so here this mark is capable of distinguish the goods as journal trademark is doing but it must be certified by the proprietor of mark in respect of origin there must be some marka that the owner of that particular thing for example this bisleri bottle is there water bottle is there so now tata company is having bid of 7000 crores 7000 crores for bisleri company 
Why? Because it has a brand value, it has a good will or it has origin, material or mode of manufacturing, everything has defined in that and most of the people believe or having uh, think about the Pistolary water bottle. So, why Tata company is paying 7000 crores of rupees? Because of certification trademark. We have believe in this, uh, this Pistolary water bottle because most of things of certification mark it has in itself. So, it has this origin, material, mode of manufacture or performance of services, quality, okay, how much minerals are there, how much quantity is there, on which date it is uh, manufactured, on which date it is going to be expired, what are its content, what is its accuracy, all these characteristics of goods and services has to be certified by the manufacturer or we can say certified by the proprietor of that goods. So, it is not we can say that is the main thing in respect of this certification trade one. Very good aspect we have to if we want to buy uh, gold we should go for the this whole mark because some certification mark is there and this given by the proprietor which is authorized by the government of India relating to these goods and services. So, that is very important concept under this trademark. So, another concept or type of this trademark is associated trademark. Now, we have already done certification trademark, uh, this collective trademark, well known trademark, another aspect is associated trademark. So, we know some well known trademark for example, Tata is there, Godrej is there, we can say other trademark is there, Birla group is there, Reliance is there. So, there are so many goods which are sold by these different groups, but can we make only one trademark, only Tata Namak, Tata uh, Trucks, Tata we can say ACs, there must be some associated trademark to that main trademark, so that we can distinguish the goods of particular classes. So, here Tata for example, Voltas, these air conditions are there, Tata we can say other types is there of any other thing Tata Ducomo is there yeah, other uh, this associated trademark is there which is attached to main trademark. So, that has to be again registered with that. So, Godrej deals with furniture also, Godrej deals with fridge also, refrigeration also and Godrej it deals with for another uh, types of things also. No? So, there must be some associated trademark X, Y, Z which must be attached to main company. So, Birla is also we can say Peter England is also of Birla. So, Peter England is although trademark, but it may be associated with this uh, main trademark. We can say Maruti Suzuki is there, Maruti Suzuki is the main trademark, but desire or we can say Ritz or we can say Silerio or we can say uh, Alto, they are the associated trademark which are attached with main trademark. So, we can also take example of other things which are attached to main trademark. So, they are covered under this associated trademark. So, these are the types of trademark or these are some well known trademark also for example, Maggie is there, Activa is there, Xerox is there, LG is there which know and which is used by large section of the society. Now, I want to say something about this, this mark at some uh, cases we see this TM, in some cases we see this R and in some cases we see SM. So, TM when registration is pending. So, many times uh, I want to quote one another example here. When we applied for this registration of our vehicle, so re till registration number is granted in our childhood we write AF, but AF means applied for on our number plates. So, till the number is granted, registration number is granted to our vehicle, we write this uh, applied for. So, here this TM is till the registration is granted, TM is you can write TM till the decision or the registration is granted. Another one is when registration is granted to you, you can write now R, you can paste on your goods and services R when registration of trademark is granted to you. Another thing is SM. So, we have already discussed number of service marks whether it is a banking, HDFC or ICCI, SBI or 
uh, Yuko Bank is there, PNB is there, all these are covered on the SM, they can also write SM on those services they have provided. So, these things we must know about this trademark. Now, one of the important thing relating to trademark is whether registration of trademark is necessary or not. As per this uh, trademark act 1999 registration is not mandatory, it is optional to you. For example, in the case of will, registration of will is not mandatory. So, similarly, registration of trademark is not necessary, but it is advisable, you should go for the registration. Why? Because if there is a dispute, then we can have prima facie evidence ki you have registered your trademark, you can give, you can serve legal notice also, you can also publish in newspaper also, ki you are the proprietor of this particular trademark. So, it is advisable, you should go for the registration of trademark, otherwise so many traders in our cities or in our country do not go for the registration of trademark. So, many Bikaner, these Mishthan Bhandar are also there, someone is writing Sri Bikaner, someone is writing Amrit Bikaner or someone is writing the uh, Ram Bikaner. So, how can one says ki this Bikaner wala, Bikaner Mishthan Bhandar is original. So, if Bikaner wala is going to register its own uh, this proprietorship in the form of trademark, he can debar other person from using that particular word Bikaner. So, Sri Bikaner can go for that, but in Bikaner no one has registered its name Bikaner. So, everyone is using, but if some person has using for last 20, 30 years, he has also common law remedy under torts also or under this uh, trademark law also, ki you can go for the action for passing off. We will do in some another lecture action for passing off. So, you can file an action against that infringer who is using now your trademark even though you have not registered your trademark. So, that is why I am saying here this registration of trademark is not compulsory. So, before we go to the registration process, there are some grounds which automatically tells you about the whether you should go for the registration of particular mark or that will be debarred by section 9. So, there are some grounds which are debar you absolutely, there is restriction on marks or restriction on certain words which are not covered under this uh, trademark act. So, first thing is this it if some mark which is devoid of distinctive character. So, which does not distinguish the goods and services of one person then what is the use of that particular trademark. So, if that is devoid of distinct character that will be barred by section 9. So, that is one important second we will do so many cases are there under this infringement or this we will do in another lecture we will specifically uh, for that. And the mark which is exclusive we can say uh, or indication serve in trade to designate the kind it automatically says about that what kinds it has or quality same we cannot use best name for particular thing although you can use without registration best furniture is there, but if you are going to use best going for registration of best word or we can say uh, some excellent word then that will be refused by section 9. So, similarly, if you are going for quality 100 grams, no it will be refused by intended purpose. For example, light is there, surya is there, you cannot go for the registration of particular word if purpose is light or purpose is for we can say writing or studying. So, value GI geographical indication in this trademark act it is debar, but separate GI act is passed by government of India in 1999 you can go for that GI of those terms or cannot register the city name for particular goods and services. So, they are also covered under that. Another uh, this provision is there which consists exclusive of marks and indication which have become customary in current language. 
so many words are there which are customary for example now anil kapoor has filed a case for registration of his word jakas which he has used in one movie but delhi high court refused to grant jakas word in for anil kapoor so why because jakas is using in current language in marathi also in some other part of countries also so or it is bona fide or established established practice of trade if any established practice there of any trade or of goods and services some that particular mark will be this for example service is there service is a common word or generic word which is established practice of particular trade so that will be debar under section 9 now another concern under this is under section 9 is when that particular mark is of such nature which deceive the public or cause confusion there are so many marks are there for example amrit dhara versus lakshman dhara for medicine for tanishk work is kanishk is there uh, there are uh, this uh, shakti bhog aata versus shiv shakti aata so there are so many words whether they are causing the confusion or not court has decided or given judgment in uh, in uh, some in favor of these plaintiff or some are against the plaintiff so many times injunctions are also granted so we have to see whether these words are creating confusion in the mind of public or deceiving the general public in that case if they are deceiving the public then there is no use of uh, registration so for as per this uh, section 9 it is not registrable so when this particular trademark is likely to hurt the religious susceptibility of any class or section of citizen of india so there are so many castes are there there are four or five religions are there in india if some particular mark is there which for example i think 786 is there which is religious mark of muslims similarly om mark is there or saraswati this picture is there on some dhoop or some religious things in that case is that will hurt the religious susceptibility i want to quote one case here in uk some beer bar has and this uh, has placed one statue of ma lakshmi or saraswati in uh, beer bar so hindu community make agitation against that and that beer bar owner has removed that uh, this saraswati ma statue from that beer bar so why these things are happening if we uh, do such type of registration which hurt the religious susceptibility then there will be problem so from inception from beginning these provisions are there so that there should not be uh, that these trademark should not hurt the religious susceptibility or sentiments of particular community so when these trademark contain scandalous or obscene matters that is also important thing so dignity should be maintained by that uh, these trademark so when particular uh, these scandalous which are scandalous in nature which Uh, fraudulent in nature these trademark which should be banned by section 9 which also resembles with this obscene this matters or some obscene characters are there that should not also be there which are against public policy we can also see some this case law also when these so another lecture will be there no? so its use is prohibited under the emblem and names prevention of improper use act so here once act was passed in 1950s emblem and name act where we can't use indian flag we can't use name prime minister we can't use cm chief minister we can't use word president we can't use we can say uh, this uh, ashok stamp loyan symbol on the ashok stamp so there are so many things these are absolutely banned by the emblem and name prevention of improper use act so although us flag is used by the so many people for socks also for these shirts also or for other things also for these inner wears also but that is not allowed as per trademark act 1999 so that is very good thing relating to our this we can say emblem and names we should give dignity to these things so as we see what's in the name 
as William Shakespeare is saying what is in the name, but if we see these examples of trademark everything is in the name, I have already given example of Bislery. So, Bislery we have faith in Bislery and Bislery uh, was uh, this Tata want to buy Bislery at 4 rupees 7000 crores, why? Because Bislery has its own goodwill. So, now another important section is there section 11. Now, under section 9 we have covered this absolute ground of refusal, but here there are relative ground of refusal, there are chances here ki you can file a registration, but some another company can file an objection relating to that. When identity with the earlier trademark and similarity of goods and services covered by the trademark. So, when identity is with earlier trademark is there. So, another company has right to file an objection against you can sue you under this relative ground of refusal. Similarly, its similarity to an earlier trademark is there. Some type of similar fonts are there, some type of similar characteristics are there. For example, Amrit Dhara versus there is uh, Lakshman Dhara is there, Tanishk versus Kaniski there. So, so many other things are there. 22 BD versus 426 or 526 BD is there, Shakti Bhogata versus Shiv Shakti Atta is there. There are something resemblance with each other with earlier trademark. So, that the trademark uh, earlier trademark owner can file an objection or file a case against now the person who is going to file this trademark. So, why? Because there is a likelihood of confusion in the public. So, how public can recognize these things? So, there may be chances of infringement, there is chances of this likelihood. There are so many cases I will discuss in last uh, slide where there is a chances of likelihood. So, now the question arises: who can apply for the trademark? Can a person who is sitting in the home can file a trademark? There some registered office is necessary or not or if you have a company then, then you can file a case or this go for registration or not, yes you can go for the registration. Any individual person can go for the registration of trademark, any company can also go for the registration of trademark. Here the company may be of Indian company or any foreign company can also go for the trademark. So, there is no case of citizenship or uh, of country based trademark uh, for example, company must be there. So, proprietor firm may go for the this trademark, partnership firm are also allowed under that, but in one case I told you in last slides ki there is partnership cannot go for the some uh, type of trademark, but here partnerships are allowed for the trademark. So, limited LL, this liability partnership LLP can also go for the trademark. Similarly, traders industrialist every person can go for the trademark just filling one form or by, by submitting the application. We will do that for the registration of trademark. So, anyone can go for the trademark whether you are a natural person individual or whether you are a uh, we can say legal person is there. So, everyone is entitled irrespective of your uh, natural uh, or uh, legal person perspective. So, I want to give some example. So, how companies are uh, this uh, beware about this infringement. So, anchor company has filed so many trademark so that other companies cannot go for that in that. So, anchor has filed anchor, ankur, ankur, uh, anchor, ankle, simple just one word difference is there. Why? Because so many companies are taking example from this. So, this is already aware, this company is already aware and he has filed different trademark for protection of its own trademark. So, that is, that is very good part, uh, uh, we have to take care of our home. So, this company has already registered its trademark in a number of other names also, but this there are also domain name at internet sites. So, Google has also tried to file this number of trademarks as these are called domain names. So, uh, Google tried to file this trademark, but this domain names, but that were refused by the this ICA number NN which is uh, registered the domain names at international level. So, that is another concern for us. So, there are 
classes of trademark one register is maintained by the this trademark registry the office of trademark register is called registry so there is register which has 45 different classes so you, that is based on the finished product multi purpose product or we can say raw material or semi finished product also so there, there is also division uh, 45 we can say 1 to 34 which belongs to goods or products and from 35 to 45 which belongs to services for example banking services चिट फंड सर्विसेज और दिस ट्रांसपोर्ट सर्विसेज एविएशन सर्विसेज एयर इंडिया एयर सिंगापुर सिंगापुर एयरलाइंस ऑल दीज कम्स एंडर द सर्विसेज और दीज आर कम्स एंडर द दीज गुड्स सो गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज हैव डिफरेंट रजिस्टर और डिफरेंट क्लासेज अंडर द ट्रेडमार्क एक्ट सो वट इज द टाइम फीड ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ ट्रेडमार्क so if we see the example of reliance tata or coca cola these are existing for last 100 or 150 years or 200 years how this is possible so you just have to do uh, you have to renew the your trademark after every 10 years after every 10 years you have to renew your trademark it may be continue as far as your business continue so it may be for indefinite period of time or you can say infinite period of time but the only condition is you have to renew your trademark otherwise it will be go to the public domain or any other person can take example from this uh, trademark uh, he can go for registration that trademark so be aware be vigilant when you are your trademark is going to be expire apply within that uh, specific time we can take example of this osho this osho has registered so many trademark to protect this also radio is there also meditation for busy people is there also dynamic meditation is there also active meditation is there uh, so many also talks are there also gen turret is there so many things are there where also has registered so what it means no one can use this word also for their business otherwise this also international company can file or can sue against you and you you have to remove this name from your trade or from your business or from your company so they have uh, this got registration of so many trademark on osho world we can also see here this mother teresa organization has get trademark on this particular sari this sari is there which has a blue lines on the border of this sari that is trademark by now Uh, this kolkata based uh, ngo which was this established by mother teresa so now no one can make or no one can get trademark of this this is called non conventional trademark nowadays not only goods and services but new types of trademarks are coming it may be on uh, some tune it may be on some we can say recipe also it may be on some jingle or it may be some on the sari or these type of things are or combination of colors are also there so new type of non conventional trademarks are coming to force so you can also see number of example one sudarshan name is there which is generic in nature but that is registered by super deluxe and the this lakshmi so such type of ca cases i want to tell you this for example eclairs eclair is a simple name but cadbury file a case against number of other companies ki eclairs belongs to cadbury so but court decided ki eclairs is a combination of milk and chocolate so anyone this eclair is a generic word anyone can use this mark with uh, their company so this eclair trademark is not granted to the cadbury but now number of companies are using eclair with their name parley is also using eclair this this rich sister is also using this or number of other companies are also using eclair as a generic word just like a chocolate eclair is also a generic word which can be used by any company which deals with these toffees and chocolates so now i want to quote another example here that is related to the combination of color as we have already discussed in definition of mark which includes combination of color also so now there are two three example or two three cases where 
कोलगेट कंपनी एज फाइल्ड केस अगेंस्ट दिस सिबाका और वन अदर एंकर कंपनीज आल्सो देयर बट कोलगेट कंपनी सेइंग कि वी हैव अ रेड दिस बॉक्स फॉर दिस टूथपेस्ट एंड ऑन दैट वाइट कलर विद कोलगेट इज रिटन सो नो अदर कंपनी कैन राइट सच टाइप ऑफ नेम दैट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कलर बट एट दैट टाइम दिस वाज रिफ्यूज्ड अगेंस्ट द कोलगेट पामोलीव बट इन दिस जॉन डियर ट्रैक्टर कंपनी फाइल्ड अ केस अगेंस्ट वन पर्सन who is manufacturing the agriculture these instrument in jalandhar right in punjab so john deere tractor filed a case and got permanent injunction against harcharan singh regarding combination of these color this uh, green color with yellow color so this harcharan singh was registering this manufacturing the these uh, agriculture instruments with green and yellow color so that is comes under this and injunction was granted against harbhajan singh so we can restrain a person when they are using the trademark which are resembles with the already existing trademark so this paytm has also filed a case against this paypal so there is one word pay so everyone is now using this word pay whether it's a google pay whether it's a paytm whether it's a paypal so can this pay is a word originated by paytm but court says this is a generic word no one anyone can use this word pay so everyone is using whether it is a google pay whether it is a paytm whether it is a paypal so this is not restricted because as we are uh, discuss already this is a customary word in languages this is a current word in the languages which is used by everyone in our day to day communication so pay was not restricted under this so this bharat pay is also there phone pay is also there or we have already discuss here paytm or paypal so everyone is using why this word are using in customary way of this trade so we have discuss in this section 11 of that so what are the now remedies under this under this or other i i want to tell you some cases are also there but before that we can see the remedies we can say civil remedies are there criminal remedies are there or administrative remedies are there so first of all we will do the civil remedies of when infringement is taking place of trademark so under civil remedies we can file a case under law of torts or common law remedies of england that is action for passing off in the case of unregistered trademark so under unregistered trademark uh, holder can file a case against any person who is going to infringe those trademark so another thing is the plaintiff can file a case against can file civil case against the infringer for damages so he can also file a action for passing off also he can file a damages ki uh, how from that uh, act of infringer uh, this damage his reputation damage his trademark or damage his uh, this uh, profit so there is account of profit so when it is determined when you know exactly how much profit he has this taken from that uh, sale of that particular goods you can also file a case for the this account of profit how much profit is there you can claim only that it may be in lakhs it may be in crores or it may be in thousands so you can either go for the damages or it may you can go for the account of profit also so now one of the important remedies injunction first of all just you have to go for the injunction in the form of temporary injunction so under temporary injunction three essentials are there under temporary injunction temporary injunction you can file under order 9 order 39 rule 1 and rule 2 so what it says you have to establish your trademark or working of your trademark by prime of sai evidence that's why in starting then in, in in the slides which we have discussed i advise you you should go for the registration of trademark in the case of some dispute in the case of some controversy you have to file this case then you have to prove ki you are using that that will be there by registration and registration is prime of sai evidence of your 
this trademark. So, although you do not have a, the registration of your trademark, you can also go for the action of passing off. So, here when prime of psi evidence is there, you have to prove balance of convenience that you have a this particular trademark you are using for last couple of years or one decade or two decade. So, from your facts there must be established some convenience in your side and if that defendant will continue using that you will be uh, having irreparable loss which cannot be fulfilled by the money. So, when these three things will be proved in case for the uh, this application for the temporary injunction that will be covered under this and uh, this temporary injunction which will be granted by the court uh, by civil court. But you can also go for the this temporary application for temporary injunction is in uh, this uh, simple application which can be filed at the starting of the case, but case will take it may be take 2 year 5 year. So, before case will decide it just at the instance at the filing of case you can file an application for temporary injunction. So, another uh, this remedy is which is given under the specific relief act or this temporary injunction is given under the CPC. So, permanent injunction you can file a case for this permanent injunction and the last of that the decree will be granted for permanent injunction for that. So, these are the civil remedies which is necessary for restraining the infringer who is using uh, this uh, uh, your trademark in his business or taking profit out of that business. Now, some criminal remedies are there you can go for the imprisonment or the penalty under this under the trademark act or now I want to discuss some uh, this trademark cases. So, I already told you about the Tata company filed a case against Pyarilal who was this uh, using Tata name for curtains or some we can say these bed sheet or all these things. So, injunction was granted in this case very important case is there. Now, in Tanishq versus Kanishq, Tanishq a Tata company, Tata company has filed a case against Kanishq uh, which deals with the also gold and jewelry uh, diamond jewelry. So, but injunction was not granted. Why? Court says if someone is going to buy a gold or the jewelry, he is not going for 5 or 10 rupees, he is going for 10,000 or 50,000 or uh, 5 lakh rupees. So, he know which shop belongs to Tanisk and which another shop belongs to Kanisk. So, injunction was not granted even though the pronunciation of Tanisk and Kanisk are same just resembling there, but only difference of T and K but injunction was not granted by court. Similarly, Shakti Bhogata very famous another Shiv Shakti Atta is also there same type of resemblance is there, but here in this particular case also uh, this same uh, type of I think Trishul or Damru is there, but uh, injunction was also granted for that. So, similarly Honda Motor Company versus Charanjit Singh this Honda pressure cooker that Charanjit Singh is making Honda pressure cookers for that injunction was granted. Why? As per section 9 or 11 it will deceive the general public we will presume that this pressure cooker is manufactured by Honda that is not true. Similarly, Bata case or Honda motor uh, this case injunction was granted because it deceived the general public. Similarly, Amrit Dhara versus Satyadev Roy who is manufacturing the Lakshman Dhara this uh, uh, medicine injunction was granted in this. Horlix versus Cartix, Helpage versus Help uh, this Age Gadwal this injunction was granted in these cases why because it deceived the general public it resembles it does not distinguish the goods and services of one company from another company. So, in these cases Pizza Hut International versus Pizza Hut India injunction was granted Redif comb versus cyber tooth here only one word difference is there R A D I double F Redif R E D I double F here injunction was also granted G telefilm versus G Kathmandu G network company filed a case against G Kathmandu injunction was granted because people think that G Kathmandu is a we can say associate uh, this collective mark of G telefilms. 
Similarly, Yahoo Incorporation, which is Sanjay Sasha, so many people are making Yahoo Gutka or making same other domain name. So here, injunction was also granted. Colgate Palmolive versus Anchor, we have also discussed earlier the combination of color. Injunction was granted here. Some person of Delhi, Pahad Ganj, he is filing in this Chur Chur Naan name for his shop. But Chur Chur Naan is very famous in Amritsar. So, this is a generic word, trademark is not granted for Chur Chur Naan to a restaurant owner of this Pahad Ganj of Delhi. Similarly, Starbucks versus Sardar Bucks, here also Delhi High Court has granted the injunction against the Sardar Bucks and uh, Starbucks win the case, and the Sardar Bucks owner has to change some name or logo also of that coffee, uh, this parlor. So, in, there are so many cyber squatting cases are there, there are some GI cases also there, which is sister concern of that. So, we have to think about all these things. So, these are the trademark cases where infringement is there. So, we will also deal with the remedies also, uh, we can uh, this transfer this trademark by way of assignment also, we can give license also, we can transmit, uh, transmit also in the case of death, we have already do in this IPR lecture, we can give license to number of person in different cities, we can assign in whole in part of that particular trademark, it depends on you, okay, in which method you are going for that, whether going to sell your whole business or you are going to sell only name also. So, that will also covered under this transfer of trademark. So, these are the main thing we have done infringement and remedies also. So, this is very important concept all the companies all the traders are getting benefit from this uh, what we this trademark act 1999 have objective in mind to prevent the infringement and for the registration of trademark that is this uh, objective is given under the uh, this preamble of uh, trademark act 1999. So, we can transfer the trademark in the form of assignment also, here assignment is also of two type, it may be equitable this assignment, it may be we can say legal assignment or assignment may be as already told you about the assignment can be given whole or assignment can be given in part also. So, here license is also of so many types license can be statutory license or we can say license can be voluntary. So, here voluntary license can be given to by the this consent of the parties without any we can say uh, this royalty also, but in statutory license you have to register your this license properly under this associated trademark or any other mark which you are going to register. So, uh, this trademark owner can give license to number of persons also in different cities also. But in assignment you have to for example, this Tata is going to acquire Bislary. So, this is a case of assignment. So, similarly, so many companies acquire the trademark of other people by way of this assignment. So, transmission is also we have already taken in the case of death of trademark owner that will be going to the legal hires of that. So, as I told you this trademark time limit is indefinite period of time, it can be go for indefinite period of time or as far as this, uh, this uh, business continue. So, but you have to renew that particular trademark after 10 years. So, these are the main this uh, these types or these forms by which you can uh, transfer your trademark. So, there are also trademark of names also, we have already discussed some domain name for example, Yahoo is there, uh, we can say uh, Google is there, the IIT Kanpur University is there, these are the domain name. If someone is using that particular domain without permission or registered that, that is also called cyber squatting. So, that is another concern when we are dealing trademark online. So, now the time is changed online businesses are also there, people are confused. For example, Kabadi Bajar dot com and another person has just add one another A, Kabadi Bajar, Z A, Z double A R. So, he can also uh, this uh, using domain name. So, there is confusion in the name of Kabadi Bajar uh, versus Kabadi Bajar where two A are there. So, Kabadi Bajar uh, this domain name owner 
filed a case against another Kabadi Bazaar dot com which he won because there is confusion in both these uh, domain names. So that is important concept. So I want to tell you about so many Bollywood actors are also registered their names. For example, Priyanka Chopra, PC, this uh, we can say Amitav Bachchan, they have also registered this, this name. The Sachin Tendulkar in sports personality, this Gautam Gambhir has also uh, filed a case against restaurant owner which has uh, having same name Gautam Gambhir. Few days back, the, uh, Gautam Gambhir filed a case. So under that, uh, but the injunction was not granted because owner of that restaurant owner has not pasted the picture of this cricketer Gautam Gambhir and not using any cricket this link. So, the, the restaurant owner name was Gautam Gambhir. So, injunction was not granted in Gautam Gambhir case. But in so many other cases, Amitav Bachchan, this picture was used by some company. So, Amitav Bachchan got injunction. So many people, these renowned personality, whether it is political personality, sports personality or Bollywood personality, they have registered their name so that other people cannot use their voice. For example, we have also taken the case of Anil Kapoor. So, Anil Kapoor voice, Amitabh Bachchan voice, uh, their pictures cannot be used by any company for, uh, for commercial purposes. So, they are also covered under this trademark act. So, uh, as we are also saying ki what is in the name. So, as per this nowadays what is going on in the market, I think we uh, ki everything is in the name. So, many companies is known by their name their quality is resembles with their name. So many people are using particular brand because of their quality. So as we are saying ki excellence comes only after existence. So when existence is there of particular company, their trade name, their goodwill automatically increases. So it depends on you whether you believe in trademark or not, but we are. Thank you so much.